Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Nick Fit Living. For today's workout is an upper body workout where I've included some of my favorite back and bicep exercises. I found that training back and biceps has really allowed me to improve my posture and has enabled me to do day-to-day -day activities a lot easier because I was able to hold better posture as well. So be sure to subscribe to support my channel and share my videos with someone who you know will benefit from watching them. For this workout, all you'll need is a resistance band. I bought mine from Kmart for only $8. This bad boy is one of my favorite equipment to have at home because it really targets not only the major muscles around the area you are engaging, but also the smaller muscles around the area too. I start this workout off with a warm-up exercise. I keep resistance band at chest level and keeping the tension in the band, I come slightly in and then out again. I think about squeezing my shoulder blades together as my arms come out to the side. And I've also wrapped the resistance band around my hands to create a tighter tension. I then do the same, but with palms facing up. Moving on to my favorite push-up complex. So I'm still working on my upper body strength to be able to do a full push-up in correct form. I chose to be on my knees so that I can complete this push-up complex in full. I start with my palms uh, out wider than my shoulder blades, then move them to be in line with my shoulders and then into a diamond shape in line with my head. So with this complex, you have the wide push-ups, the tricep push-ups, and the diamond push-ups. I only recently discovered this core exercise and it is a real core burner. I have feet together and shoulders in line with my elbows with hands together as well. I dip my hips side to side and focus on keeping my upper body as still as possible. The rotation allows you to feel the burn in your obliques and your upper ab muscles as well. Using the resistance band, I have my legs slightly apart and one slightly in front of the other. When I extend out, I focus on only moving my shoulder joint and arm. The rest of my body is completely still and I engage my core to increase my stability. This exercise is supposed to look like you're swimming. So you're in a plank position, but have your legs slightly wider apart. Just like you're swimming, raising one arm at a time. Keeping mind to muscle, I find thinking about my core helps me engage it the whole time. Back to the resistance band. I have it around my feet, knees slightly bent and elbows anchored to my side. Every time I do this exercise, the next day my biceps are always sore. Focus on controlling this motion steadily and it will make such a big difference. I found this exercise a great way to actually tone up my arms as well. Moving to the last exercise, I've actually looped the resistance band around one of my feet to create a tighter tension. At the top of my full setup, I push out one double arm fly and Engage in the fact that I'm pulling it above my shoulders. I then come back down. 